What's up everybody, I'm Duke James, this is Zanzibar. And then there were three. Yeah, just as I thought, uh, Tambora died. Tambora lost the war against Lundu, so they got full annexed. The supports with the no uh, clans expired, so... I'm gonna go ahead and throw everything at them. I'm gonna promote them. I'm going to reduce tributes and I'm going to permit the old ways. And then I will go ahead and expand our authority, reducing their power by 5%. They'll take over the country, but in five years I'll go ahead and uh, promote the burgers, so the burgers will take over the country again then, so that's fine. And then I'm also going to start expanding the bureaucracy. So I got 20, I increased tribal loyalty by 20. 15 of that went to expand our authority, and then 5 is going to go towards this. So I'm going to start doing this in order to uh, increase state reach. So instead of dropping, now state reach will increase every year a little bit. Chiefs take over. Every time I do that, though, their influence should drop their cap. So they're now in the 40s. And that's why they're around 40. They're around. They're a little bit less than 47, so. Hopefully, I can get the burgers up higher, and then they can take over. That's also why I'm increasing state reach, so eventually I will switch to the bureaucrats to get that negative uh, 0 0.05 monthly autonomy change modifier from the bureaucrats. And also to do these uh, reforms. I could actually do this reform. The other thing is the autonomy reduction one is 5 average state reach and 75 average autonomy or lower, or 30 state reach average and 80 average autonomy or lower. Obviously, it'd be easier for me to get to 80. So, that's also part of reason, part of the reason why I'm increasing state reach. The other two... Where are the other two autonomy reductions? Yeah, this one also requires 80 average autonomy or lower, but only 15 state reach. So I could probably do this one before I could do the other one. This one just requires bureaucratic influence. This one reduces elite power from autonomy. Elite power from it. Okay, yeah, this one reduces elite power from autonomy. It doesn't reduce autonomy from elite power. So that doesn't really help me. This one requires 25 state reach average. So I could do this one. I could do this one without this, actually. So yeah, that's why I'm increasing my state reach, because I'm not sure I'm going to get. Probably not going to get down to 75. Maybe I'll get down to 80. I might be able to do this. I might, might be able to get to 25 state reach before I get down to 80 autonomy. So that's why I'm going to increase state reach. I probably should have went um, instead of admin. Probably should have gone bureaucracy. But that's all right. I'll probably go bureaucracy after I start colonizing. All right, pretty long time skip here, but we should get commercialization in a month. Ah, commercialization has appeared in Zenji Bar. We should foster its growth and embrace it when it's spread through our nation. Jokes on you, Zenji Bar is my entire nation. 
It's all I need. Costs 167 ducats, and it Zenji Bar is 26.1% of my development after considering autonomy. Ah, it's beautiful. Let's go ahead and embrace that. We get an amazing yearly inflation reduction, negative 0 0.01, and negative 1 interest per annum. What does a loan cost? Because we're not Christians, so... 3% interest per annum. It's not great. Not that great at all, actually. We have embraced commercialization, so now we get cheaper techs. And I have a lot. How much mill power did we lose? Alright, let's go ahead and grab these techs. Wow. Grab the two dip techs that I can take, and then... All of those admin techs. And that's all of our admin points right there. We have a free slot, so... Commerce... Or, uh... Exploration requires commerce, which we now have. 1,500 sailor cap, which I mean, I assume that's... You need 1,500 minimum naval materials, which we have. With naval ideas 3, you need diptech 11, and... Yeah. Without it, you need diptech 23 and 50 naval force limit. So, you can skip naval ideas, then? I wasn't thinking of doing that, but... Our naval force limit is 40, and I'm two dip techs away. I might go that route. Alright, so... Taking these techs is not as efficient as before. But this is still a lot of techs that we just grabbed, so... We got, um... Troops, some infantry fire, artillery fire, reduced morale damage taken by reserves. We got some new ships, some naval force limit. We got 1% world goods produced, maximum extraction resource size plus 2, production efficiency increased by 1%, some new troops, land morale, combat width increased by 1, some infantry fire, 5 admin efficiency, some siege ability, infantry fire, and cav, whatever that was, production efficiency increased by 2%. Another idea group, stability and co stability cost interval negative one percent, five percent maximum centralization, three percent naval force limit, 0.25 naval morale increase, maneuver value on my units is increased by five percent, cav shock better cannons, reduced morale taken by reserves, some military tactics, land morale increase, artillery fire, some better some better cannon. Again, we can now build modern castles, so level 2 castles, and some more admin efficiency. Wow, okay. Uh, when I'm able to, I'm going to focus dip tech, actually, because I do want to annex marina, so I'm pretty far behind on dip tech. If I can just skip... If I can skip taking naval, I'll do that, and then I'll just go to... Um, exploration directly because that'll save some time the other thing that I can do is open up coal industries one coal industry which I think is here yes okay so coal is now here so I'll go ahead and throw Nine ducats in the mines in that province. We'll hold off taking this for now. Get some better troops. Now 
Nice, nice. Finally have commercialization. I went ahead, I dissolved the alliance with Azran. I actually didn't dissolve it, I made them a rival. They broke the alliance. Ethiopia is rival to Azran as well, so I was able to ally Ethiopia. So I'm now allied to Ethiopia. So... I could have them prepare for war and they would join. I've never seen a country at positive zero and negative zero. That's kind of weird, considering they're rival to them. But with Ethiopia joining in, they have 11,000 troops themselves, plus 17,000, 26,000, 32,000 from their vassals. So they have a lot of troops. And then I have 12,000 troops myself. And uh, three mil tech advantage over them, which actually isn't that much. Azuran is no longer a valid rival, interesting. And then we've lost the effects of long distance trade. Trade range plus 75%. Hopefully, um... Oh, that, that takes the merchant out of the lower Nile, actually. Gives me two unassigned merchants. Alright, I think I'm going to fight Azuran using Ethiopia. They won't join, so I'm going to ha have them uh, prepare for war. That should get them to join. I'm going to build up to 15,000 troops. Azuran, I think, it says they have 16,000 men. Yeah, Azuran themselves have 16,000 men, so I'm going to wait for Ethiopia to move men into their territory before I go up north. I'll probably burn this province and then go south if they come over here. I can get uh, 14,000, 15, I'll have 15,000 men plus the 2,000 men in this fort, so I could have 17,000 men, depending on how many men they get over here themselves. And I do have a three tech advantage over them. This province is combat with negative 25%, so that's good. Let's swing this guy over here. Five thousand cannon. I don't think they have any forts in their province, except this one. My guy's a three three. I'm gonna try to get an advisor with two two and a half percent discipline. Alright, yeah, Ethiopia would join. I think that lasts a year? So I'll try like a month. Hopefully I can get a, an advisor. Hey, okay. Perfect. So I have 106.5% discipline. I think I looked, they had like 108% discipline, so I need it. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Oh no, they have 105%. They have baptism by boot camp. I have exhaustive drilling, so that's 5 versus 4%. My tradition's a lot better than them, because I don't think they've ever gone to war. I think they fought one war for this province. I'm going to attack them directly instead of Melindy. That's 47,000 men versus their 27,000.
see how this goes. I'll scorch earth that. If they move their men down here, then I'll retreat these guys. I don't think they're going to. Okay, five gets me two bonus. I'm gonna build another one for a four bonus. Bureaucratic expansion and influential chiefs expired. The chiefs lost control of the country because they had an event where a chief died, so they lost 10 influence. So I could promote them. That This is every five years. The other stuff, reducing tributes, lasts 10 years. And the other influence one lasts 10 years as well. So I'll probably wait for those to expire before I do anything. Metropolitans have uh, control of the country right now, so I won't boost them. Pretty sure these guys went north. So I'm going to take Melindy and I'll grab this fort. I think this this is their only actual fort fort. Yeah, they moved their troops up there, so I can have a near free reign of their country if I take this fort. This will increase my average autonomy, but this stuff is actually relatively close to my capital. So, shouldn't be that bad in terms of communication efficiency. I don't think anything here actually has a harborage. If it does, then it's pretty good. I think most of these provinces are good communication efficiency provinces. Provinces with, like, grass flats. Those two are grass flats. This is marsh, two and a half. There's a harbridge there in that province, harbridge in that province, harbridge there. I think a rank three. What is this? Rank two harbor in Mogadishu. I'd like to come up here to Mogadishu and grab that if I can. take a troop off actually because these are undefended provinces and I grab that all right can I bypass this fort no Oh, wait, no, I can. I mean, I'll just take it, because that's pretty far progressed anyway. Yeah, all of their troops are up here. I don't know what their these troops are doing. Oh, they might be fighting awesome, actually. Who I'll try to peace out as soon as possible. I'll shift these troops over to these two provinces. And rebels. Why are there rebels there? I 
Ethiopia also has rebels. Those troops lost. These troops are gonna lose. Their capital fell pretty quickly. Let's do some of these supports. So go ahead and provide grain. Temporary tax relief. All right, my plan is, assuming this is correct, hopefully, which hopefully it is, I'm gonna skip naval ideas. My naval force limit modifier is 43. I'm gonna move residents from this province. There's 43,000 in that province. I'm going to move 10,000 of them into Zenji Bar because the harbor here is rank 6 versus rank 2 there. And I assume autonomy also affects that. So this gives one naval force limit per 1,000 residents. So if I move 10,000, I think that's about 5, assuming autonomy affects it. So that would get me to about 48. So I should be able to hit 50 relatively soon. And then I would just need... Diptech 23, which I'm almost at Diptech 22, so I think that would be a lot better than uh, using that slot to... No, I don't want to do that. Using that slot to do naval ideas. So I can do exploration, and then I will do uh, bureaucracy after that. So I can just skip naval ideas. Hey, does somebody want to sit on this province? Oh, Azuran brought their troops over here. You guys trying to go around to stack wipe these guys? Better not. I assume I'd be able to take these provinces. Yeah, only Azran would join the coalition because there's no other Sunni countries in this area. I think something like this is, yeah, this is what I would want. I could probably skip some of these provinces because I can just move my troops. With ships. All right, would also peace out? No, okay. I got some troops over here. Need about 200 ducats. That's a lot of troops over here now, actually. So, hey, okay. Go ahead and spare them. Swing these guys around. See if I can stack wipe this stack. All right, we're gonna play musical chairs. Going on. They're gonna go south. They all just split up. Okay. Alright, now they will peace out. I don't want to give them territory. 
So if you just want to give him money. Yeah, mostly just to free up these troops. What else over here is even... Nothing else is really... High development. So I suppose I'll grab some of these um, undefended provinces. Probably go south. Take out Mogadishu's troops since they can't rebuild troops. I think I need about 200 ducats in order to move 10,000 residents. Just send these guys down here. Actually, I'll put them right here and they can't escape then. They'll get trapped. Forgot I can't move all my troops because I built those troops extra. Now Ethiopia, all of Ethiopia's troops are going to start moving in their territory. They're going to get a lot of that undefended territory, hopefully. Alright, well, if rebels actually control that, I can't take that province in the peace deal, so I have to go get that. Are they just gonna leave these troops over here? Nope, they're gonna come back. Stack wipe those troops. Stack wipe these troops. Hey, Ethiopia, you want to attach so we can take out these troops? Alright, I assume this will work. Hopefully we can defeat them. 21,000 versus 14,000. We have better mill tech. Right, I'll go back down south, take out, um, take that back, I should say. And they'll start sieging down there other territories. Yeah, my naval force limit is now 44, so I might not even need to move people. I'm gonna do that anyway. I'm gonna do that right now. Let's see. 
I'm gonna move 10,000 from that province to that province. I'm gonna move residents. It's gonna cost 237 ducats, 85 mil points. For moving 10,000 people, that's actually not bad. So this province now has 63,000 residents, so that should give me a good boost to my naval force limit, and I will grab Diptek 22. Go ahead and delete these troops, because I don't really need them, and they're dead units. And I'm over my force limit, so... I'm gonna try to take a, a province, like, as far up north as I can. Alright, I think something like this is what I'll do. So I'll take all of the coastline up until Mogadishu, and then I'll grab this province. For some reason, I can't grab these two provinces, because I can't make those a core, but I can make this one a core. It's one of those weird things. So I'll just grab that one. It's as far north as I can grab, skipping all this territory in between. There's only three... No, there's five countries in the Zanzibar node. Actually, I'll take that province too. This will this piece deal will eliminate two of those countries. I'm gonna wait for all this stuff to get occupied, though. Yeah, my force limit is now 48. 48 naval force limit. I can swap to. Actually, let me go ahead and bump that guy up. I can swap to national focus of dip in a couple months. I'll delete another troop, send these guys to protect trade, because I don't really need them anymore. Put those guys in a port. I'll send one troop up to uh, grab some of that territory, and uh, you guys can detach. It should increase my average autonomy, but once the uh, separatism decreases, it shouldn't be that bad. Most of it's grass flats. This province has trading harbor rank 2. This one is training harbor rank 1. There's a rank 1 harbor here. And it's relatively close to my capital, so it shouldn't be that bad. These provinces have uh, clan power that's like mid 40s, so taking these provinces should reduce clan power. 20% in Mogadishu. 51% clan power here. Something on average, clan power will decrease. Maybe it'll increase like a percentage point, but not really all that much. Not that much at all. I'm going to switch to national focus of dip. delete one of these cannons. Send these guys south. And have them drill. Alright, 
All right, I guess I can send my uh, merchant back to the Nile, so I'll go ahead and do that. Hey, he's a better siege guy. Okay, cool. Azure and discovered my spy network. All right. I don't want your peace deal. I don't send that guy down south. Ah, there we go. I don't think I discovered any trade nodes, but um, that's cool. That's actually, that might be unfortunate. Um, no, we're still good. Okay. I was thinking maybe since I discovered all those countries, I would get uh, aggressive expansion with them, but I think it's fine because some of these countries are Sunni. So if anybody's mad, they would be mad. Bureaucrats land ownership drops. Nobility land ownership drops. Looks like... Um, it says everybody's land ownership would drop. All right, we'll go up to 102 ducats. I get not even half of that. I'd rather take war reps then. So I'll take war reps, 42 ducats, I get 20 of that, and then all of that land. This goes green. That's cool. And then I will start pouring all this stuff. So I need... 334 dip power, I have 68, that'll be available 1458, a couple years from now. I'm going to actually not hoard this, and instead I'm going to build a, well, I'd rather build a level 2 fort, so I guess I'll court. Peace deal with Azran lasts 15 years, so I've got time. That should be Cord. Its religion is Sunni, so it should be Cord. Yeah, it'll be Cord in five years. I think tribal power dropped 1% and my average my average non-overseas autonomy dropped, but that should actually increase because well autonomy is there is 85%, 70%. Yeah, they should go up to 100%, but it's actually not as low as I would think that it would be. So it shouldn't be that bad. Like autonomy in that province is 100%. This was their capital and the autonomy in that province is 88%. Grab a claim on that province. Oh, I did discover a trade node all the way over there. So far away. The aristocrats have taken control of the country. So multi autonomy change point zero five. Not as bad as the chiefs.
We discovered a bunch of provinces. Azran has changed their capital to Punt. Okay, they moved it here, and then I guess they moved it up here. That's an interesting capital. It's also a horrible capital. It's going to screw him over. This province has Minnie's rank 1, nothing else. That's rough. This province has... 101,000 peasants, 33,000 residents. Industrial size, 83. Mines, 181. So it's mines of salt. It has an important center of production, a major center of trade. It is the largest regional city. It's pretty much the best province that they have. It's natural location, harbor's minor. Location is important, so the harbor's negative 20%. Not that great. This province's harbor is minor. I don't own this province, but it's minor as well, and this province is also minor, so not great location effects. This has perfect communication for now. So there's three countries now in this Zanzibar node. One of them is my vassal and the other one is Azure and they have three trade power. We have 248.8 .8 trade power. We own 5.85 ducats. So yeah, we pretty much um, we own this node. I'm going to try to move these ships to the Red Sea node and uh, see if they can handle that. They might get attrition, so I'll have to move them back. That's the bad thing about not getting naval. Since naval, naval's finisher gives you the ability to repair when in coastal sea zones, so that's you can pretty much send ships anywhere for the most part and uh, not have to worry about them. Currently have thirteen trade power here, earning point four eight. So. That boosts us up to 2 ducats and 69 trade power. So we go from, what, 2 for the 6th highest trade power in this node to the highest trade power in that node. We definitely earn more money putting the ships there. That did literally nothing to the percentage that we own in the Zanj node. Morsen Gully declared war upon Azuran. Okay, everybody, yeah, just jump on him. I don't think, um, I don't think Morsen Gully is going to win that, but, um, well, they have 10,000 troops. I admire their spirit. Maybe they got Yemen to join. Yeah, they got Banu Rossi to join. Banu Rossi is not going to give them any troops, though, so... I imagine they're going to lose that. Or, okay, no, Azuran dropped down to 4,000 troops. I didn't think we uh, destroyed Azuran that badly, but yeah, no, they're going to drop down. I'm going to improve relations with Ethiopia, since they're the only one that I can rival. They might rival me. I'm actually a little bit afraid of War Singali. They might win and then they get, well, they probably get about 15,000 troops max if they took a bunch of uh, Azuran's territory. And yeah, the Metropolitans took back control. 
That'll be some additional ducats. I also have a lot of rebel factions. Is this still 82%? I think it just hasn't updated yet. Oh no, it, well, this province has quick communication, 72%, so that's actually not bad. It, the autonomy is still increasing, which is to be expected. Non-accepted culture, 0.15 from separatism, 0 0.037 from overextension. Non-core, plus 0.6. Is that here too, non-core? For some reason, non-core doesn't show up here. Kind of weird. All right, I'm going to actually end this part here and uh, pick it up in the next part and get those cores, go from there. My naval force limit is now 51, so I think I'm just waiting on Diptech 23, and then I should be able to do exploration unless I'm reading that wrong or it's or it's just wrong by itself. But uh, anyway, I'm going to end this part here and pick it up in the next part. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.